Hey guys, Swordsman here. I got a bit of flamethrower action on PC uh, Vietnam, actually. Uh, I said in the last video I was interested in running around with a flamethrower only, and, uh... So I guess I did, and, uh, I'm sort of discovering it's kind of hard to try to use it in all situations. It's, it's, more, it's really one of those niche what, uh, type of weapons, but, uh, it's been fun. Uh, I tried to get him, but, uh, look at him, look at him. He's running away! Haven't you ever heard us top, drop, and roll, motherfucker? Look, see? You just gotta lay down, roll around, and you'll be fine. You won't burn to death. But, uh, apparently he never went to elementary school. But yeah, been having some fun with the flamethrower, and uh, it's tricky, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. I thought I would include this uh, quick little rush game. Uh, fair warning, or rather, full disclosure, someone on my team apparently was hacking, or so the chat says. I mean, anyone ever does well, all of a sudden it's, oh, it must be a hacker on PC, so I don't know. Uh, I'll let you guys see his score at the end, and you guys can decide for yourself. I'm not the PC expert when it comes to FPS, so I don't know if he was hacking or not. I don't recall running across him on my team, but uh, I was mostly trying to look for flank routes and trying to uh, burn some bitches up. There was two things I wanted to sort of, uh, I don't know, semi-announce in this video while I talked about some flamethrower fun. And one of those is that um, yesterday a briefing room video went up on Machinima Respawn. And uh, I know I usually don't do uh, like uh, link vids or whatever anymore, and this isn't technically just a link vid. I wanted to post this actual gameplay. But uh, in yesterday's video on Respawn, I basically said uh, Call of Duty is a dying franchise and Battlefield 3 will be the way forward. And uh, it certainly uh, drove up a good bit of controversy and uh, got some people talking in the comments. So if you want to go watch this... I think it's probably one of the more interesting briefing room episodes of recent memory, so if you want to go check it out, the link will be in the description, possibly an annotation on the screen somewhere, so I can click that and go enjoy that. And I know my channel has a fair share of uh, Minecraft fans, and I wanted to let you know that Athena, my lovely and ever-so-talented fiancé, recently posted three Minecraft videos that uh, I was in with her. So they are on her channel if you want to go check out some of the Minecraft stuff that we are building on our world that we share together. You can go check out her channel and uh, view those videos as well. Okay, with the announcements out of the way, I, uh, I fucking nailed those announcements. Uh, high five for getting those done. Uh, handled those like a champ. Alright, but back to the gameplay. Uh, I gotta say, uh, flamethrower only is kind of fun. I mean, this is going to sound egotistical no matter how I say it, but at least on Xbox. Now, remember, Xbox I'm saying here. I can basically use any gun I want and just sort of like fucking half-ass my way through it and usually win well enough because like I'm not the best shot but at this point I know the weapon so well, I know the map so well that I can really just put on anything and usually do reasonably well and win. But uh, on the PC with a flamethrower, whole different ballpark. And uh, this has been challenging and actually interesting to me so uh, I might actually continue posting some flamethrower only type uh, stuff in the future here. I got at least two more games I wanted to share with you. One that was like a 26 minute freaking 500 ticket uh, Fubai Valley that I'm going to have to edit down like a motherfucker in order to fit that into a reasonable attention span type of a video for you guys. But uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more of that, be sure to let me know in the comments because uh, it's something that has caught my attention, has been fun for me, and uh, when I have fun playing a game that usually lends itself to uh, the videos being more enjoyable as a whole, I burn this bitch, I hear my MCOMs in trouble. Hold on, I'm coming. Barbecue for three, baby. Burn, bitches, burn. Save that thing, he almost had it diffused. If you read the chat, he was so close. He said, I get picked up, I keep on spraying in case anyone's close. And uh, it, it was definitely a hoot with the flamethrower. I, I seem to like it as a uh, like an area of deniability type of a method or a tool to uh, try to persuade people to not go a certain route to uh, make them not want to come through that choke point or through that doorway or uh, sometimes even burning down cover works. Uh, and you'll notice I actually use the RPG as the engineer class and uh, I know what you're thinking, it might be a little cheesy but I mean come on I have a flamethrower primary, what do you want from me? I found the RPG to be useful for trying to deal with uh, snipers. In particular if, you, uh, if there's a line of sight type of an area and I need to cross, but I know there's snipers up on a hill or snipers around a corner somewhere. I'm starting to find that the RPG can be used enough to like rattle those guys where it, it's sort of like it, it kind of gets them out of position for like a second or two or just it, it slows them down from trying to uh, shoot at me for a while. So I'll fire that thing off and then 
hopefully hopefully that they, they'll be a little distracted and or flustered and I can run across where I need to get to. Uh, that guy's being a decoy for me, jump around the corner and haha, <laughs> he's still alive, not for long. Trauma units that way, son. Okay, let's keep moving here. We are on the last base, I think this is. And uh, it was definitely a, a fast moving thing. I think I hit the tab here in a few minutes or something. You guys can check out a score midway here. It was definitely a hell of a score, but I've also seen Jay Kaiser pull off scores like that. So who am I to say if he was hacking or not? I mean, that may be one of the hmm, most annoying things about PC gameplay, at least for FPS, is that everywhere you look, somebody's being accused of a hacker. And yes, it does seem like the, it's easier to hack on PC than, say, a console. Except for like the JTAG guys. Those guys can ruin some games. But I don't know. It just annoys me. Anytime someone does well, they must be a hacker. I mean, there was once on PC that even I was accused of being a hacker. Can you believe that? I was like 12 and 2 or something so far in like a... I think it was like a... I think it was Fubai Valley actually. And no, wait. No, no, no. My mistake. My mistake. It was Eureka Harbor and uh, Conquest. And they accused me of being a hacker. And I, I just couldn't help but laugh as I get kicked off the server for being accused of that. And I'm like, have you seen me play? I am not a hacker. But uh, it, it, this thing's been working for me. I, I won't have the greatest of KDs, but uh, it's definitely been a more enjoyable playstyle than just running around with the AK-47 or the M4 or the M16 or the UMP or something like that. So I've been digging it. I think I'll continue it. I thought I remembered the old route around there to get uh, behind them in time, but... Uh, didn't want to risk a suicide. I should have looked to the right here instead of the left first, but uh, he gets me fair and square. Oh, there's so many guys in there. If I could have snuck in there undetected, I would have had a freaking barbecue going on back in there. But don't worry. Don't worry. Got a squad mate that's up close here. Yay for useful squad mates. We come in here. God, I don't even know how that guy didn't get on get lit on fire. I guess somebody else killed him. Uh, what else do we want to have to talk about? Um... The respawn video was up. My, Athena's Minecraft stuff is pretty damn cool. Uh, this video is winding down. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers that came over. I think I picked up over 400 subscribers due to my respawn video. I'm glad to see you guys are as passionate about Battlefield as I am. Getting to a bit of a flamethrower dance off with this guy. Luckily, when there's so much flame going at the guy, you can barely see if you just move around a little bit with some strafing. That seems to be a really handy uh, key to staying alive at those uh, awkward little dance off moments. But yeah, thanks to the new guys that came over and subscribed to my channel. Uh, we recently hit 17k. Maybe I'll try to do something special for you guys. I will say I've been playing PC a bit more, and I'm trying to post what servers I'm playing on. So uh, if you want a chance to follow me or uh, come play with me, uh, Twitter is your best chance to know when I'm looking for players to come with me or uh, for like Bad Company 2 or StarCraft 2 and things like that. So. If you want to know what I'm playing and when I'm playing it, uh, Twitter is probably your best bet to keep up. Alright, final score wasn't that bad. Well, wasn't that great, but I thought it was entertaining gameplay. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.